This is a really important question about how do we cope with vicarious trauma? We know that it exists. We know that there are impacts, but but how do we navigate this? And I think that sometimes we're at a loss of how to navigate vicarious trauma. I, I feel like this is something that doesn't really get talked about, but but it's really important for us to think about. And when I when I talk to people about vicarious trauma and when I do consulting, the first thing I think about is we got to get back to basics. And what do I mean by that is that we spend our entire life because we've chosen careers where we put the health of others and the well-being of others before ourselves. And that's a very privileged position to be in. But when you put others in front of who you are, you get lost. And that's what we're seeing is that that's, that loss of prioritizing the self gets eroded. And then we don't have much to work with in terms of providing, to providing repair and 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 the wealth of kindness and empathy gets what it gets eroded so the thing that i always think about is that we have to really prioritize ourselves we're so used to doing everything for others but we have to really do things for ourselves in the care and the spirit of taking care of ourselves so you know the things that i think about that are really important is just this idea of self care and what that means, and that means th different things to different people. It can just be simply what? Having a cup of tea in a quiet moment. It can be taking a walk. It can be smelling a rose. It can be the smallest of things. But we're so busy trying to care for others that we're forgetting the simplest things that we need to do to care for ourselves. And so I think self-care is a really important piece of this. But then I also think that we have to think about this idea of work leisure balance. Most of us that come into this profession, as you know, there's always more and more people to care for and take care of. That's just the nature of what we do. And unfortunately, we have to also what? We have to create mechanisms that we can what? Refill ourselves. And so having the balance between work and leisure is essential to, to filling ourselves up. And leisure is you know, sometimes people think of leisure as being selfish. I actually want people to reframe that and think of it as being selfless. Because if you, if you actually do things for yourself, you can give back even more and exponentially give back. So I actually think that there's a lot of things that we do that we tell our patients to do, but that we ourselves don't do as readily.